1,000 melons. This was my melon dream. And I'd do anything to get there. Whether I could or not? Well, that was for me to find out. But I was ready. I'd do whatever it takes for my melon dream. My melon dream had begun, and I only had an hour before its expiry. What if I succeeded? What if I failed? The nearest melons didn't seem too far, and yet it felt like an eternity had passed before I'd even managed to get there. Now, with a few seeds sown, my conscience grew heavier with the thought of no return. Everything was on the line. I was never one for quitting, but this only encouraged the strain that was now constantly on my mind. The thought of failure seemed impossible and yet bound to happen. With now a quarter of my time used up and zero melons, questioning myself became more than a chore. It was now a hobby. No, a job that if complete would render myself completely unmotivated to fulfill my melon dream. And yet the happiest I may ever be. Happiness. Isn't this why I began my quest in the first place? Isn't this why people followed their desires? Perhaps the answer is even simpler than that. People want more. But I wanted more. I was halfway through my melon dream. And what did I have to show the world? Nothing. Only my inner beliefs and a few melon stems, I guess. I tried my best, but it was hard to concentrate over the deafening silence the world had to offer me. Temporarily losing all hope was a common occurrence now. I'd been here for three quarters of my time. A single melon. I felt like I ruled the world. Someone glanced at me, and then they turned away. But how long can a glance last? You're a plastic bag in an ocean full of litter. No one cares about you. Too busy acquiring secondary items, I almost forgot about my melon dream. My melon dream. As clear as day, with all the time in the world, slowly turned into a thick fog, with no time left at all. The physical toll, the emotional encumbrance, it seemed that these very things were the only fertilizer that truly worked. Finally, everyone cared. Except one. Me.